All right, today we got a Carolina rig. I think I got a quarter ounce sink or maybe a half ounce. I'm not sure. We got a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. We got live shrimp on a two watt circle hook. It's a little bit bigger circle hook than I want to use today, but it's the smallest I had. We got 20 pound braid. It's on the pin battle two, 4,000. And it's all set up on the Ninja Tackle Bagger. That might be a keeper flounder. We might have got us a keeper flounder. All right. He ought to be 14. Yeah, about 14, 15 inches there. He's gonna be close, but I think he's gonna hit it. Uh. Man, he hit hard too. Like real hard for a flounder. Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah, we got us a keeper flounder. He's 14 and a half. Good deal. Do you clean right. them things? Do you play them? Or you do yeah, uh, you actually just cut them straight down the center and then you, you notch them around the head and then you actually just fillet them sideways. Flip them over, same thing. Cut down the middle around the head and then just run your knife sideways. So you just cut it down through there and cut around uh -huh. through there and then just yeah. roll that off the bone? Yeah, it's real simple. They look complicated because they're flat, but they are yeah, not. I really all right, it's taken me like four trips to the pier, caught several undersized flounder, but we finally got us to keep a flounder today, so I'm super pumped. Oh, one of my favorite fish to catch, so he's going home with me. What's up? What made you get today? Just the one? Total? That's the first fish I've caught today. <laughs> yep, that was the first fish I have caught. Let me come back over here. good fish there there's another good fish on there all right another flounder this guy might be a little short he's gonna be close too i'll take two keeper flounder but i believe he is gonna be just a hair short because that's usually what i catch him just a hair short he is he's a quarter inch too short ah oh, man so close he's a quarter inch short Still a beautiful fish though, I mean. Awesome looking fish. What did you sent back, buddy? 14. 14. Yep, flounder or 14. Oh, he took me over into that pylon. Get out of that pylon. Oh man. That's gonna be a good flounder if it's a flounder. Oh, it's a stinking stingray. Gosh. Wrong kind of flounder. <laughs> Wrong kind of flounder. Come out of there. Get a hold of that barb so he don't stick me with it. Get on out of here. I was sending the text and I felt that hit. Oh, he's gonna be just short again. I was sending a text when he hit. I, I felt him do a little thump there, but he's gonna be short. Man, just such cool looking fish though. Is this a good spot? Oh yeah. Anywhere is a good spot as long as you're fishing, man. There we go. Oh. Ah, he's gonna be short. Yep, gotta be 14, but he's not, not gonna make it. One keeper this morning, clown? Yep, one, first one. First fish of the day, and I thought, all right. Gonna be one of those days. Uh -huh. I'll measure you, but there ain't no way. No, he's only 12 and a half. Stretch. <laughs> I would say step on him and flatten him out, but he's about as flat as you can get him. Have you ever seen a flounder, buddy? No. That is a flounder. 
flatfish and look on the other side. They're white. Make sure you're letting that go all the way to the bottom. Those flying are laid flat on the bottom. And then what you do, just reel in a little bit of that slack, but leave just the slightest little curve in your line because you don't want it taut because if it's tight, you'll, you'll move it around. So make sure you hit that bottom and just have a little bitty curve in your line. And you'll get you one. It'll happen. And here, I'll show you what I do real quick. But I'll kind of swing it towards it, and then I go out so I get it away from the pier. And then I flip it out under, and I just let all that line just kind of run out for a second there. And that's going to guarantee that I'll hit the bottom. There we go. There we go. Yay. Yeah, but he's going to be another short. Man. Another short. There's my delivery boy. <laughs> How many keepers? One. The very first one. I thought, hell yeah, man, it's going to be on fire. How much you need for them? $75. Whew! These are good batteries. Batteries have gotten expensive, man. <laughs> Any mangroves? I think everybody's caught a mangrove except me. Like, literally, I've seen everybody else catch one. Hopefully, some of these shrimp are still alive. And then you got this motley crew coming out. I kind of forgot you moved here. <laughs> Hey, you didn't get a keeper, did you? Brad will take it from you. Be careful. Oh, you're going to be close. It'll be 13 and a half. I think I'm done. Done. I think I'm done. Done. I haven't caught a fish in like three or four hours at this point. Yeah. I Still don't think I caught a fish after you guys got here. <laughs> All right, ladies, I'm gonna head out. All right, Jordan. It was not fun at all, just to be honest. Once you guys got here, I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. No. Good luck. I hope you get stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> I am not even out of the parking lot yet, and Brad just messaged me and said that he's already caught a keeper mangrove. So. Brad can eat a fart. Let's go to my house and clean some flounder. Okay guys, we are back at the house. Me and my partner, Lucy Hi. Grace right here. She's super excited. But we're gonna show you how to clean a flounder real quick, so let's jump right into it. Sound good? Yes. All right, let's do this. All right, these flounder aren't really all that tricky to fillet. You're literally just gonna make a Y incision and you're gonna fillet them while they're flat. And the Y incision, Get this little fin out of the way. You want to just fold that up there towards the head. And then we're going to make a little Y cut right here behind the head. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to go at this angle. And then we're going to make a cut straight down the body here. And just take your time. No need to get in a rush when you're flying fish. The slower you go, the more meat you will salvage. Okay, so once I've got my Y incision here, like so, then I'm just gonna come somewhere here in the middle and I'm just gonna start kinda getting that meat to separate from the rib cage. And it doesn't matter where you start. Everybody can start in their own preference, but I just start real slow. And then once I start to get that filet lifted off the rib cage there, I kinda tuck my thumb, push my thumb up under that. And again, just go nice and slow down that body. I kinda just lift that filet up as I go. And what that'll do, I flipped around here. It just lifts that filet off the rib cage in there. It makes it super simple. And then just work your way around it, just nice and slow. Slow and steady. There's absolutely no reason to filet fish fast. I know it looks cool when you watch people do it in videos, but there's really absolutely no need to do it at home. All right, and once I get that filet pretty much filleted down to where the, the uh, fin and body meet, I'll just go ahead and I'll push my knife right on through. I just run that down that way. Then we'll separate this here. And there you go. There's the first fillet off. And then I just drop down, flip it and reverse it. And I'll start working on this other side. And again, I just go slow. Running my knife nice and flat. I 
get this tail meat separated right there. Knock that loose. And that side is done. But now, we're not finished with the fish yet. Flip it over one more time, and it's gonna be a wash, rinse, and repeat. We're gonna make another Y incision right through here. Because we've got two more fillets on this fish. This fish is not done. It's the fish that just keeps on giving. All right, we've got our janky Y incision on this side. But again, it's the exact same thing, man. Just leave that fish flat, work that knife, get that fillet separated, and there you go. Now I will say on the smaller flounder, the flounder that are just keeper size, which is 14 here in Alabama, 14 inches, the bottom side of the tail is a little harder to flay because it's really, really thin fillet down there. So if you butcher that down there, you're not really losing much meat. So don't don't get worked up over that. Try not to cut myself. There we go. There's our third fillet. Flip it over for the last time. And then we're gonna just run down the body once again. All right, now we're just gonna run our knife the full length of him here, because that meat is off. Break through what little bones we got there. And there we go. And you can see, I mean, that is flat. There ain't really nothing left on that flounder. And I do, like to always cut open the stomach. I always like to see what my fish that I catch, what they're munching on. So let's just find out real quick. What do we got here? Oh, it's pretty digested. Can't really tell what that is. We've got a, we've got a spine, so we've got a bait fish in there. So we've got a, a pretty digested bait fish. You can see the, the spine, the backbone right there. I can kind of see some, some scales right there. No clue what kind of bait fish, but there you go. All right, and the last thing you have to do is to go on ahead and get those delicious fillets, cut off that skin, and again, go nice and slow. Just work your knife back and forth. That way you don't leave a large amount of meat connected to the skin. And bam. That skin comes off that easy. Okay, now we've got that off the skin and you're gonna have a little strip of meat here and up top and the bottom. I do kind of pull that off and the only reason is right here, on, okay, I can feel it right there. You'll get a little bit of bone, a little bit of connective stuff there. I don't wanna eat bone when I'm eating fish and that's the quickest way to turn somebody off from eating fish. So I make sure I remove that. I don't really feel anything over there. I'm just gonna go ahead and just trim a little bit of that off. But there you go. You've got a fully cleaned fat, a fully cleaned fat, I can't say it. Let's, let's try it one more time. A fully cleaned flounder filet. There we go, I said it. Okay, there you have it again. Super simple to clean flounder. They look tricky, but they're really not tricky at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some old bait thrown on this toss it in the air fryer because that is my new favorite way to cook fish yeah, but i'm gonna so yeah lucy said it's yummy so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up so until next time i'll see you later